Hi. Charles. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm wonderful, and you guys? <clears throat> it's 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 been a you know couple minutes from your fight. Um, how how do you feel about your performance? Uh, I feel good. It was my first decision win. Normally I win by finish, but hey, uh, I'll take it. I know he was down for a reason. When I finished him with a push kick, he didn't want to get up. So for me, yeah, it was. Uh, I'm I'm happy with this win. Yes. Um, after your fight, you let you let out a big scream and emotions. What was that about? Uh, because it was my last fight of my contract. As it is now, I'm a free agent. I'm no longer, I have no longer any fights with the UFC. So it was important with me to, to finish with a bang. And it was important for me more than for uh, uh, anybody else. Because I want to do that. I know I'm good at it. But having those win, lose, win, lose, uh, starting at 23 in my career. I'm 26. When I was walking towards the cage, I, I was telling my, I was looking at the camera. I was, I was like, you're a man now. You're 26 years old, there's no, oh, this is a learning curve. No, learn at the gym and perform at the UFC. And me, I was not thinking like that back then. So now I need to work hard in the gym, learn everything I need to learn in the gym, then perform. Here is not a place to learn, it's a place to perform if you want to be one of the best. And uh, this is one of my goals. Do you want to stay with the UFC? Excuse me? Do you want to stay with the UFC? Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan, of course, of kickboxing, boxing. You know, I'm a martial artist uh, at Essence, and I want to uh, explore all of these. But I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, this is the biggest stage in the world. This is the most uh, beautiful organization in the world. They always treat me good. You guys, the media, like every time I have interaction with people, it's such great interaction. So I don't, I don't want to lose that. I'll do my best. And if my best is reaching top 15 or top 10 or top 5 or even becoming a champion, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm waking up and I'm do my, doing my best. You, you have some ice on your foot. Is your foot okay? Yes, it is. Uh, I, I saw Andre and uh, yeah, they, you won't hear any complaints from me. Um, you have a big neck piece now. I, um, yeah. What is it, and what 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 made you decide to get that? Uh, is Odin the old father? I got a I got a samurai. I got uh, I want all sorts of warriors, uh, a representation of warriors on my skin from different eras. And uh, Odin the old father uh, is someone who was willing to sacrifice his high for knowledge. And for me, it's like I'm sacrificing. It's sad, but I'm sacrificing part of my health for my sport. That, that's how much I love it, because ask a millionaire on his deathbed what he wants, he's going to tell you, I want my health back. So yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice that to, to, to achieve, uh, to just live the life I want to live. That's, that's awesome. Um, when, when would you like to get back in the cage? Uh, soon. I know I'm, I was not a big fan of calling out. Uh, but I want to fight Cub. I had a little bit interaction with him. He was looking me down because we had a couple of interaction back and forth, and I was always doing that Canadian stuff of yeah, I apologize, ha ha ha, and being too nice to the guy. But now fuck it, I, I want to fuck him up. I want to put my hands on him. I just had a, a crazy fight, and I would love to fight him right now. If Darren Elkins would pull out, I would go in and fight that guy. I don't know, like I don't mean any disrespect to to, to the man he's fighting tonight. But win or lose, I want to get my hands on him. So yeah, that, that's the goal with my new contract. Awesome, and c congratulations. Thank you very much. You mentioned uh, that this is one of the first decision fights you went to. Yes. Did you learn anything about yourself? Uh, that I can win a decision? <laughs> no, uh, that, that, yeah, the, as the fight goes, the crazier I become. You saw me like screaming, doing Sparta kicks, spinning kicks when it was 10 seconds left. Most of the guy, when they know they're winning, they take it easy. Me, I was like, no, I want, I'm going to do everything I can to finish you. So yeah, I, I learned that there's no, I'm not going like that when I'm fighting. I'm, I'm going like that. I'm becoming crazy as, as there is more blood. So yeah, I learned that, yeah, I'm a crazy kid. Was there anything about your opponent that surprised you? Uh, no. Uh, everything my, my coach dissected pretty well. So, you know, a lot of fighters say that, but they get surprised by, oh, yeah, 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 the, the front kick. I didn't expect, like he was a, a tip guy, he would always tip the body, so I kind of chucked in my body a bit and boom, I got hit with the, the, the front kick and then I started tasting the blood and I was like, okay, fuck you too and I, I jumped on him, sorry if we cannot curse, but yeah, th I, that was fun, I, I had a foot on my face, that's weird. <laughs>
You can curse as much as you want. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, and just a fun one. Do you have a New Year's resolution that you want to share with us? Uh, yes, it's to to not... I, I, it's Because sports is one of the only thing that's bringing people together. Now, when you think about politics or media or, or whatever, there's a lot of things that separates everybody. And I want to make sure that I use my, my platform to make sure that people forget about that stuff. So when I wish people happy holidays, I tell them, please let the politics aside and uh, use the holidays to reunite yourself and just just love each other, no matter how much your 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 thoughts on the whole situation is like uh, Democrats, Republican, or Max, no Vax, blah blah blah. Let that aside and please uh, enjoy your holiday. So that yeah, for me that that's very important to keep politics outside of uh, media, uh, sports media, uh, not sports media, but my own uh, media platform. Thank you. Thank you. My man, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. I appreciate the message that was love. Like the Beatles said, all you needed is love. <laughs> so, um, Andre was moving up from 35. Yes. Did you have any advantage physically? Did you feel like, okay, clearly this guy was smaller. I, I, I'm, I, I got this covered. Or did he feel like a true 45 or two? No, but uh, I felt the power of... Uh the, the only time I was in a cage and I was like, man, this guy is strong like a bull was Duo Choi. Because I was an underdeveloped 145, 145er. When I fought, I, I couldn't squat a plate. I couldn't bench a plate. I was, when I started <clears throat> real fast, uh, yesterday, Arthur Beterbiev won a big boxing match. And his coach, uh, the Quelezas family, they took me into their charge, me and my brother, a year ago. So now I'm becoming physically strong. That's why I was saying I'm a man now. I'm, I feel strong. I'm, I'm very I'm much more athletic. And when I was like fighting a Rosa last fight, he didn't feel strong at all. Uh, uh, Philly felt strong, but not as much as Duo Choi. But I, as I develop, these guys don't feel strong anymore physically. So I was, I was, I was happy with the work I put in. So no, him being a 135er, plus it's an advantage when you're a wrestler. You're, you're someone you use a lot of physicality. But me, you know, I was knocking out guys when I was this underdeveloped kid. So when it comes to striking, I don't think weights has this much of an advantage. Okay, well, very good. Thank you for that. And shout First. out to what a great family to be brought into maybe one day he can get the canelo fight but that's for another comment. that would be amazing but yeah i, I think they wait until uh, beterbiev is uh, 57 maybe they're gonna take the <laughs> fight then <laughs> and and last thing for me you look great in there you look like you were having fun yes and was there any weight off of your shoulder if this was your last contracted fight or was did you want to just really show out because Show out. I, I wasn't thinking about contract. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just tasting blood in my mouth, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up." And this, this is this is weird. Like I, it, like this is not a lie. Without, it could be no fans. It could be in the sandbox. It could be for no money. I would do this. I love fighting. Like there's, you you cannot find this sort of an adrenaline anywhere else. So. Yeah, it, it's not about contract, not about money, not about anything, prestige, Instagram followers, whatever. It's never been about that for me. I would do it in the sandbox with no fans. So yeah, it's, it, it was just about showing this man that I was better than him. Well, that's a warrior's mentality. And I'm yes, sure sir, it is. More fans off of that. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Anything else? All right, thank you very much, guys and girls.